This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Miranda Blah. As India created history by administering more than 100 crore doses of vaccine against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the doctors, nurses, other frontline workers and all those who got vaccinated and made this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated at the earliest and also help get others vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain dogus kidori for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011239780461075 and, and the helpline for Meghalaya are 108 and 1070. And now the news in detail. Union Home Minister Amit Shah said that the Narendra Modi's government has adopted a zero-tolerance policy towards drugs. He said it should be ensured that the drug supply network in the country must be destroyed. Shah chaired the third meeting of the apex-level committee of Narco Coordination Center organized by Narcotics Control Bureau in New Delhi yesterday. On this occasion, Union Home Minister said that the vision of drug-free India given by Prime Minister Narendra Modi is to be realized during the Azad the Home Minister said youth and students need to be involved in the fight against drug abuse. Sikkim Governor Ganga Prasad has decided to reduce the number of vehicles in his convoy. This was informed by Sikkim Chief Minister P.S. Tamang. Governor Ganga Prasad reportedly made this announcement during a ceremony organized to open Sikkim Raj Bhavan for public viewing. The Sikkim Raj Bhavan is home to statues of legendary freedom fighters like Subhash Chandra Bose and Sardar Vallabhai Patel. It also is a home to medicinal plants, farm and scenic beauty. The Sikkim Raj Bhavan will be open for the public between 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. in the morning and between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the evening. The Central Drugs Standard Control Organization has given approval to Corbivax vaccine, Covovax vaccine and an antiviral drug Molnupiravir for restricted use in emergency situations. In a series of tweets, Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia said, Corbivax vaccine in India's first indigenously developed RBD protein subunit vaccine against COVID-19 made by Hyderabad-based firm Biological E. It is the third vaccine developed in India. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh announced that the tallest Indian national flag in the northeast will be hoisted at Moirang in the state. The Manipur Chief Minister made the announcement after the successful installation of the tallest flagpole in northeast India at Moirang. Moirang is a small town under Manipur's Bishnupur district and is situated approximately 45 kilometers south of Imphal. It was in Moirang where the flag of the Indian National Army led by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was hoisted for the first time on April 14, 1944. Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tunsong has informed that the state government is yet to receive an official communication if Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be the chief guest of the Golden Jubilee celebration of Meghalaya attaining statehood in January next year. Talking to reporters, Tunsong said that the state government is yet to receive confirmation from the Prime Minister's office in this regard. Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tunsong has said that the state government will come to up with a permanent solution to ease the traffic congestion in Shillong City by shifting few of the important government offices to the new Shillong Township. Talking to reporters, Tim Song said that he is pretty sure that the traffic in the city will decrease to the maximum level with the shifting of the government offices. The Chief Minister also said that traffic problems in the city continues to remain the same since the number of vehicles keep on increasing. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin which came to you from the Shillong station of All India Radio. Have a nice day.